Discipline and determination builds character, faith, and self-confidence. There's no way around it. If you want to go to the next level, you got to have discipline. You got to have determination. I talk about this a lot, man. You got to be a gang dog. You got to have some fight in you if you want to go to the next level. And that fight is discipline. That's the biggest fight any of us would have is disciplining ourselves and abstaining from things we want. That's the biggest fight we all have. We're going to break it down how to, how to get that discipline, how to recognize it, and how to get to where we want to get. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, toasters, as you come in, of course, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Got good content over here. Now, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is the story of David and Goliath. And it's so it's not so much the story of those two characters, but more so what David said prior to meeting Goliath and defeating him. It was rumors around, there was, there was, there was bickering, there was frantic going around the camp about this guy, Goliath. And David's brothers were afraid. Everybody was afraid. Saul, King Saul, eventually uh, sanctioned David to go fight Goliath. But before that, when people were questioning him, when his brothers were questioning him, when Saul was questioning him because of his stature, his youth, and, and what it looked like in maturity, when people were questioning his credentials, it's something that always stuck in my mind that David said. He said, I've killed a lion and a bear. So who is this Philistine, this uncircumcised Philistine? That's nothing. That, that, that's, that's nothing to kill this guy. I've already killed a lion and a bear. My God has <laughs> protected me, has given me the strength to, to, to evade the paw of the lion and evade the paw of the bear. I've smited both. And man, that always stuck with me, even as a kid. Because what David was saying, I was putting in work. I was knocking down barriers. I was going against the grain. I was fighting fears. I was being disciplined. I was building my faith, building my confidence in the dark. While you guys are out here, I was out there in the field tending to the sheep, building confidence, building character when nobody was watching me. And so now that I'm on stage in front of everybody, I'm prepared. And to go out here on this stage is nothing because I've done some things in the darkness. I've done some shadow work. I've taken care of some business in the darkness that no one saw, but I know. I know what I did. So now that I'm on front stage, this is nothing, man. I can take out this Philistine. Man, that, that's so powerful. And that's where it's all about, man. That's, that's where it lies. That's how you build confidence. That's how you build confidence through discipline. You got to be able to stay out there when nobody's watching and do the right thing. You know, fight your weaknesses. Fight those fears. Fight those things that have a stronghold on you. Go against those things that you think you can't live without, that you know are bad for you, that you know are distracting you, and do it repetitively every day, every week, every month, every year. I'm not saying you won't get weak, but get back on the horse and keep on attacking it. That's where the real work is done in the shadows, not out front. The real work is done when no one is watching when you don't have any support and you feel like you're out there on your own, that's where the faith grows because all you got is you and the God in you. That's all you got. So now when you get on front stage, it's nothing. It's showtime because I've already done the work, the real work in the background. 
Now, some of you, you wonder why you're not prepared to get on that front stage. You're not prepared to step out and, and do what you're supposed to do in life to really exercise your gift and talent. That's because you're not taking the care of the work in the shadows. You're not doing that shadow work. You keep succumbing. You keep failing. You keep giving in to your weaknesses, to your fears, to your to your to your insecurities. When no one's watching, you only got to face yourself, and you keep giving in. So you never get an opportunity to get out front. And when you do get an opportunity, you fall back. You say, I'm not ready. You know why you're not ready? Because what you've been doing in the dark is 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 not up to par. You know what I'm saying? You know in the dark you ain't been taking care of your business. So now when the opportunity is facing you, you don't have that faith, you don't have that confidence because you haven't been building it up. I'm telling you, y'all, I'm telling you toasters, take care of that work, man, in the darkness. Because everybody's going to get an opportunity. Everybody gets an opportunity to shine. And you got to be ready to step up and do your thing. But when that opportunity comes, it, it will be revealed if you're not ready. It'll show. You'll either run from it or you'll step out there prematurely, not prepared, and fall flat on your face. Now, sometimes you can't fail and, and you've done that work. But I truly believe if you've done the work and you got the confidence and you prepared yourself, you've done that work in the background. When you hit that that center stage, that front stage, hey man, you're gonna go, you're gonna you're gonna shine. I believe that. Now we got some people, we got some toasters who have done the work, who have actually done the work in the shadows, in the darkness, and, and, and they defeated those those lions, those bears in the darkness when no one was watching. But for some reason, man, in your mind, you're still fighting a lion and a bear. In your mind, you have not defeated them. Some people live like that. And they never take the time to step back and say, man, I really did that. I really did that. So let me let me grow from that. Let me go to the next level and, and perform in front of everybody and show everybody what I can do. You know, not for my own glory but to give hope and confidence to others, to show them, hey, this is where I come from. I fought a lion and a bear, defeated them, and now I'm here. And to handle this, to tackle this in front of me, this is nothing. Come on, y'all, let's do that work. Let's do that shadow work, toasters. Let's handle our business. Let's get to the next level. Get everything we're supposed to get. As always, from me to you, love. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.